Hey everybody, Heliclash here. Um, I think we're on the eve of the next update, or at least the next balance changes. So a lot of cool things coming out. I'm sure you watched all the previews, the new jungle arena, the new uh, clan chest. Those will all be pretty exciting. Hope to cover those. I uh, want to do a chest opening video tonight. Um, still looking for that graveyard. Saving up my gold. I can finally upgrade one of my cards and I'll let them up to 60,000. So I can keep that 40,000 for the graveyard spell. And then it's 20,000 for most of the cards I want to upgrade. Uh, might as well collect our achievement in here. Good times. I think there's a new special event coming out this week too, like the dual challenge. So that'll be cool. Um, hey, shout out to Dat Potato. Happy birthday. You said you want to be in a video. Uh, you started a tournament tonight. I don't know if I'm going to be able to play in this tournament as much as I want to. Um, so I'll just give you a shout out. Happy birthday, buddy. Um, good member of our clan. Let's get into opening some of those chests. Maybe we'll get lucky and uh, get that uh, ever-elusive graveyard spell. Either way, we'll pile up the gold here. Then I'm going to show you a replay because uh, just got back to 4K, so that's pretty exciting. Took a little bit of a dip, um, so I'll show you the replay of that battle that just happened. Kind of made a push to get back up there. So Nothing too exciting. What should we do? We got a giant chest. We'll do the gold chest. Elite barbs. They're getting a the big buff, so it's going to be cool having those stacked up. I'm going to need to upgrade those. That uh, looks like they're going to be pretty powerful now. They're getting a uh, attack and HP hit buff, I believe, right? So, oh, sure, be smart. You can have a Valkyrie. All right, let's do this crown chest. So I'll be well suited if the uh, elite barbs are as cool as they are. Let's not have the gold to get out. Ooh, Skyrim. Alright, let's see if this giant chest is awesome. Big chunk of gold. Mini pack, I can always use those. Big chunk of rockets, that's not too bad. It's a pretty decent giant chest so far. Especially with the elite barbs getting a buff. Um, so not what we wanted uh, while we're here. I'm going to go ahead and take my fireball to level 9. So watch out, level 8 musketeers. You are going to be smoked. Pretty excited about that. The next card that I'm working on in this deck is definitely the Zap. That's the next one I want to upgrade. I'm pretty excited with the update. The Vertival Dragon is going to get a buff, so that should help up my deck a little bit as well. Um, so... Last time I made it to 4K, uh, I had the Meta Minion or Mega Minion in this uh, deck, so now I've went back to the Miner. Uh, after the nerf to the Mega Minion, I found this is just a little bit better uh, deck for me. Um, so let's check out some of these replays, getting back to 4K here. So there's that one, which was against a uh, Golem Graveyard deck, so that's a pretty uh, strong deck to beat. Um, I think I had another good one here. Had a couple losses tonight, Giant Sparky. So, you know, playing lots of variety of decks up here. Uh, trifecta deck, Hog Rider Cycle deck. Yeah, a little bit of a bad run this afternoon. I was thinking they had a good R Royal Giant victory in here, but I don't see it. Must have been earlier. The old graveyard caught me off. Well, here, yeah, that one. So let's watch two. Let's watch this Royal Giant video, and then we'll watch the clinching one. So I think these are both good uh, ones to watch. So my starting hand here, I think I'm going to go for a quick push with minions and uh, Miner. I can't quite remember. He's not sitting on anything, so I think I go ahead and just try a quick push here. So... Minions at the river, minor. Luckily, his wizard locks onto that. I fireball it. It's sweet if I could have caught the minions and the wizard. Would have got a whole lot more damage. But hey, I actually took a big chunk. So I got almost about 600 off his tower and took one little hit from a minion. So pretty good exchange there. He's got a little bit of an elixir lead, um, but it's fairly even. So he's going to go ahead and drop the mini P.E.K.K.A. I was about to start a uh, Hound Push, but I guess I had to go ahead and use my Graveyard to defend this. I'm going to log that so I can push back the Giant, take out the Fire Spirits, and come right down with my uh, Inferno Dragon Minions, stop that push, shut it down completely. Now i got kind of a counter push going here. I'm sending the uh, Miner right back in. 
Um, even though he fireballs all that, my Inferno Tower locks on, and it's uh, Melt City. So, uh, zap the minions. So that was a pretty good exchange, right? My towers are still pretty full. Now I gotta make a decision. Do I keep pushing and go for a multiple crown victory? Or now do I play defense? So, Ghost Skeleton, uh, the, uh, the Tombstone down, figuring he's gonna maybe plant, plant a Royal Giant. So I'm gonna go ahead and take his Wiz out. Um, now with my new Fireball, that Wiz will be dead. I won't have to use a log to pick him off. So at this point, I'm mainly playing defense here. I decided to throw a second tombstone out here, but I wish I would have thrown it more forward. This was a bad position because that will not attract the little giant. So that was the mistake I made here. Um, especially pushing him off with the log. So that was not great card play there, but uh, you know, the really good exchange I had early on put me in a position where I could play defense. So. You can see that graveyard is still totally, up, totally out of position. Um, so this time I'd like to wait a little bit on this and take that wizard out here. Um, get that log chip. Let's have those minions. It's pretty good timing with those fire spirits. Um, go ahead and set the fireball them, push them back. Ten seconds left, I just go <laughs> to try to fight off this. Uh, Huge push coming in here, so and it gets pretty close here at the end. One, maybe two more shots at Royal Giant. So uh, not the best defense, but I got it done. Um, good game here. And let's watch this final one here. Well, I actually, it's always nice when you go to push to 4K and you three crown them. So. So Bobby Fatsack. From Nova, uh -huh. USA. I believe he starts with his Elixir Collector. With the Elixir Collector being in six now, my usual instinct is to push really hard at the lane. So I use that as a green light to just go ahead and just go for the tower. Um, try to take out the Elixir Tower, <laughs> the Elixir Collector, and the tower all in one suit. So he drops a golem here, a little bit defensive. Drop some minions to help get that tombstone out of the way quicker so I can get on this tower. So obviously that golem eats up all that Inferno Drag energy here. I slip my miner in to make sure that that Elixir Collector doesn't go unharmed and that uh, you know, he doesn't get a big Elixir damage here. So. I didn't get as much damage as I want there, you know, 700, but he didn't even touch my tower. He drops another elixir collector. I debate what to do here, and I decide I'm just going to go ahead and hit a fireball uh, and take the elixir advantage that that will bring. Um, now, knowing he's probably going to cycle to that golem, I go ahead and start my uh, lava hound at pretty much the same time. Most people will push the opposite lane when Numi drops the golem. But because I run the Infernal Drake, I often found that it's good to send my lava hound right over the top of him and dip the Inferno Dragon behind him. That's often how I deal with the uh, so I don't have my Tombstone here, so I cycle with the log. Then I see he drops the Graveyard. Luckily I can get to my minions quickly enough here to uh, kind of hold that off. He comes in with a Fireball, but for the most part, you know, I've already taken that Tombstone out. So. Slip the Lava Hound in right in front of that Inferno Dragon. His Tombstone is kind of out of position there. That's what we're doing here. So I'll go ahead and drop the second Inferno Dragon. Send the Fireball in there to make sure we finish this off. But now I got almost a full health miner. A pretty big push coming in here. I make sure I drop that Tombstone just in case. Second miner. And my fire or my inferno dragon blocked on the tower, and this is GG. So, um, 
pretty effective play against a pretty strong Golem Graveyard deck. So, hey, hope you guys picked up some tips that you can use on how you might with Golem or Royal Giant decks. I find the Infernal Dragon to be a pretty powerful card, um, and hopefully it's going to be even more powerful with a 5% uh, HP increase. So, hey, oh, we got a free chest to show up. Bonus! Not too bad for free chests. So, hey, hopefully we'll be doing some more videos this week with a new update in the comment uh, or coming up here. So, hey, thanks for watching. Sub, like, let me know what you want to see. Uh, take it easy, everybody.